Dale Earnhardt, The Legend of Daytona When it comes to the world of motorsport, few names evoke as much passion and admiration as Dale Earnhardt. Known as the Intimidator, Earnhardt left an indelible mark on the world of NASCAR, particularly at the Daytona International Speedway. In this video, we will delve into the life and achievements of this legendary driver and explore his lasting legacy at Daytona. Born on April 29, 1951, in Kannapolis, North Carolina, Dale Earnhardt grew up with a love for racing. His father Ralph, a former race car driver, played an instrumental role in fueling young Dale's passion for the sport. However, life wasn't always smooth sailing for the Earnhardt family. Financial struggles meant that racing was often put on the back burner, forcing Dale to work various odd jobs to support himself. Despite these obstacles, Earnhardt's determination to succeed never wavered. In the late 1970s, he began making waves in the racing scene, earning impressive results in short track events. His skills and raw talent caught the attention of NASCAR team owner Rod Osterlund, who saw the potential in Earnhardt and signed him to his team in 1978. Earnhardt quickly proved his worth, winning his first race in Bristol and clinching the Rookie of the Year title in his debut season. However, his true breakthrough came in 1980 when he joined legendary car owner Richard Childress, paving the way for a partnership that would dominate the NASCAR world for years to come. Earnhardt's association with Childress brought him unparalleled success at the Daytona International Speedway. The Daytona 500, the most prestigious race on the NASCAR calendar, became the stage where Earnhardt showcased his unparalleled skill and determination. His first victory at the Daytona 500 came in 1998, after years of near misses. The win solidified his status as one of NASCAR's all-time greats. But it was 1990 that cemented Earnhardt's place in Daytona folklore. Going into the final lap of the Daytona 500, Earnhardt found himself in third place. With his trademark aggressiveness, he made a daring move, passing both contenders to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. This iconic moment, known as the pass in the grass, remains etched in the memories of NASCAR fans around the world. Earnhardt's impact on the Daytona International Speedway extended beyond his victories. His aggressive driving style, coupled with his intimidating demeanor, earned him the moniker The Intimidator. Opponents feared racing side by side with Earnhardt, as his skill and tactics often left them in the dust. His relentless pursuit of victory is what made him a true legend, not just in Daytona, but in the world of motorsport as a whole. Tragically, Earnhardt's life was cut short in a fatal crash during the 2001 Daytona 500. His death shipped the racing world to its core, leaving behind a void that can never be filled. In the wake of his passing, countless tributes have been paid to this iconic driver, solidifying his place as a motorsport legend. Today, Dale Earnhardt's legacy lives on at the Daytona International Speedway. Each year, during the Daytona 500, fans and drivers alike pay homage to the legendary driver through various ceremonies and events. His impact on the sport continues to be felt, as many drivers credit Earnhardt for inspiring them to pursue careers in racing. Dale Earnhardt's impact on the Daytona International Speedway cannot be overstated. His skill, determination, and aggressive driving style made him an icon, and his victories at Daytona earned him a special place in motorsport history. Though he may be gone, his legend lives on, and his spirit continues to inspire generations of drivers who strive to leave their mark on the hallowed grounds of Daytona.